Rabbi Wachman once told a story about how his wife's grandfather escaped the Nazis. It was in the midst of chaos. Nazis were soon to invade Vienna and Rabbi Rabbi Wachsman's wife's grandfather and his family had to quickly escape. So they all fled from Vienna where they made it to France. Once they made it to France, they had to, the next step was to get to England. However, there was one problem. They had no transportation. So he was looking around for somebody, maybe a boat, maybe a sailor that could take him and his family. Finally, he found a half-drunken sailor. The sailor said he's willing to take him and his family on one condition. That they get papers, they all get their passports stamped and they get their pace, their pa- papers stamped from whoever is in charge. From the embassy, giving them permission to go into England. So, and he said also um, he's leaving tomorrow. So had one day to get it. So he went to the embassy, to the British embassy in France, thinking he's going to get papers. Next thing he knows, he gets there and he sees a massive crowd of people, maybe 500 people, Jews, all with the same idea, all trying to get papers. They're all rushing, they're all pushing in. They have security holding all the people back. It's crazy. And he's like, oh my gosh, he's going to get stuck here. And being in France is not like it's any safer than being in Vienna. There's just as much anti-Semitism there in Vienna than there was in Vienna, probably more at the time. So he, he feels crushed. Finally, it starts pouring. The heavens open up. It's such a monsoon-like rains. Like nothing like anything we've ever seen before. And the whole crowd disperses. And he's, everyone's running for their lives. All the crowds, all the guards, they're all running as well. He's running as well too, just to get to the nearest building, just for his life. He enters into the building, takes a deep breath. He doesn't know where he is. But he opens his eyes and looks around. And lo and behold, what he sees before him is the man responsible for issuing the entrance papers and stamping the passports right before him him right before him he says yes how may I help you he doesn't believe it so he says with such joy yes I would I'd would love to get papers for me and my family to go to go to to England so he says sure um I'm more than happy to snap your passport I just need I just need your your actual passport so I can take care of it so he says sure he reaches into his pocket Oh my gosh, where is, it? where is it? He forgot his passport and he faints on the spot. It's like that. They wake him up. They're shaking him. And finally he gets up and the clerk asks him, you know, what happened? He says, I feel like such an idiot, but I forgot the passports. So the clerk that's responsible for stamping the entrance papers, giving permission to go. He says, no worries. Takes out a piece of paper. Puts a stamp on it, writes, I, Mr. So and so, the officer for responsible for signing passports, gives permission for a- anyone who's on, whose name is on this paper to enter England. He hands it to him. He says, Write your name and your family's name. Anyone whose name is on this paper has entrance permission. So not only does he write him and his family's name, he gets as many Jews as he can on that pe- on that piece of paper. He saves countless families all crammed together on that tiny drunken sailor's boat. And countless lives were saved because of him. That Jew felt crushed. But he became such a source of illumination, saving the lives of how many people? Parsha Titzave. Um, Hashem, tells Moshe that, Hashem tells Moshe that when you get olives, for the olive oil, for the menorah, to be kasisla ma'or, halo near tamid. To be crushed, to the illumination, to ignite the continuous eternal light. 
oftentimes we ourselves in life feel crushed. But sometimes it is those moments that we feel crushed that Hashem is preparing us to be an eternal light that not only lights up our own lives, but brightens the lives of everybody on this sometimes seemingly dark planet. I hope you all have an amazing day.